using our metal or plastic uh, to align the quill, you can see that it's fairly straight. If anything doesn't align with your equipment, we're going to show you something that you need to check before doing any other further movement. First, you need to make sure that this pin is engaged, otherwise, it might be off center and then you might be moving your equipment without moving one of them. And you have to check both sides, front and back. Your pins might be engaged properly. Otherwise, your adjustment knobs will not work. If your pins are not engaged properly, this is what it will happen. So you have to make sure all your pins are in the proper place before you do any other adjustments. Once you check your wheels and your belts and you still believe that it's out of alignment, we're going to show you a procedure to do your alignment on the belt. To access the gripper belt adjustment, you're going to have to remove three bolts, which are located here, here, and one more underneath. In some cases, to access the bolt on the back, you might have to increase the distance in this area by lowering the belt. And you can do it in the back if it's a ratchet. That will increase the distance between the machine and the gripper belt. In some guards you might find that if we have some electrical connections here, but that can be easily removed by cutting the zip ties, which we have to replace after we're done with the product. Before working on your equipment, you might have to make sure that the equipment is level. And use your gripper bar as a reference. If the equipment is not labeled, you might have you might want to use the feet. You might have to increase the front or you might have to increase the back, depending on where you need to go. I'm gonna provide you with this tool so you can make sure your belts are aligned. First of all, you're gonna have to put your piece which contains six set screws. and you can put on your pedal. After that, you see on the front of the machine, you should be able to tell whether it's center or it needs to be realigned. If it needs on alignment, we're going to show you the procedure how to do it. After you remove your cover, you're going to have to remove this pin, which allows you to unlock this brass piece. And we're going to show you the procedure so you can do it properly. Once you get your plastic in place, we're going to close both of the, uh, we can close the belts so you can see which one needs to be realigned. As you can see, one of them is a little bit off. We're gonna have to remove the pin using some pliers. All you have to do is pull these and the pin should come off. We're going to do the same procedure on the back. Once again, 
save it. We're gonna be using it one more time. Once you remove your pin and you remove your brass piece out of the way, you can see that we have a gap at the bottom. One of them is touching, the other one is not. So you might have to use a rubber mallet just to uh, make sure it'll move properly. You're just gonna tap it. Remove the piece, make sure it face up. And as you can see, the gap is closing. And we'll do the same process on this side too. Until we are satisfied with the uh, results. When you're satisfied with the results, we're gonna measure the distance from this part to our brass piece. As you can see, we got about three eighths of an inch we need to go. So you're gonna mark from the brass piece And that's how far we need to move back our piece. In order to move our brass piece, we're gonna have to remove our uh, belt out of the way. Once you move your bracket out of the way, you're gonna move it just enough to clear this part, this round piece on the brass. And then we can turn it out to the mark that we gave previously. We will repeat the same process on this side. We're gonna turn our brass piece till we uh, get to our mark. Once we reach the uh, designated spot, we're gonna move back our piece so we can make sure it's where we want it. You might have to move several times in order to achieve your goal. Uh, you might have to push it back and move your breast piece one more time, you know, uh, until you reach your desired uh, distance. As you can see, our part is right in the center. After you're done with your process, we're gonna put back our breast piece and insert our, uh, our pin. So it'll lock in place before we even move this handle. Otherwise, it'll move and everything, it'll be uh, messed up again. You have to make sure you put your locks on the pins, otherwise they might come out and you're gonna have problems. You're gonna hear a small click and that'll be a sign that it's uh, engaged. One thing that you might wanna move your belt in and out just to double check that they are in the right place. Once you're satisfied with your process, you might want to put back your coverage to make sure everything is uh, back in place. And our next process will be showing you how to adjust the quill. 
And for uh, view purposes, we're going to use our assembly line instead of the machine. It'll be easier for you to uh, have a better view. First, we're going to use the same block that we provide you, and uh, we're going to place it on the uh, pedal. Now we're going to show you how to move in and out. First, we're going to start by moving in our quills, and uh, we're going to decide which one needs to be uh, moved in or out. Uh, this should be for the clothes. As you can see, once we do that, we're going to decide. We're going to decide which one needs to be moved in or out, and we're going to show you. Uh, we're going to show you the procedure. So our easiest uh, quill adjustment. What we're going to do first. First of all, it's remove the pin and put our screw all the way in so it'll clear when we pull our quill out once you do that it should come out easily make sure you put it back so we don't lose it and we're going to do the same with the other set as you notice the other set does not have the uh, this, uh the screw so we should be able to come out without any other fur Once you do that, we're going to measure our distance between our bracket and our brass uh, adjustment. As you can see, it's pretty center. If you need adjustments, we're going to show you now how to take it apart and make the adjustments that you need. This procedure is going to be the same in every single one of them. Uh, we're going to start first of all by removing our, um, our pins. And you're going to need some pliers, some uh, O-ring pliers. As you can see, you're gonna save these ones uh, unless you got new ones. You might wanna replace them if they're not in good conditions. And by removing the pin, you should be able to um, release our bracket. So we're gonna keep going on all for all four of them, and then we're gonna show you the rest. Because it takes, it's a different procedure, the other one. Once you remove your brackets, we're going to remove the front part of it. Make sure you keep your parts together so you don't lose any of them. Once we took this bracket, we're going to take our two more brackets and we're going to do the same on the back one in the back should be faster since it doesn't consists of the same brackets as the front. It only has two screws. This part will stay on and we're gonna remove this stainless steel bracket.
and that's how it comes out. Okay, once again, we're gonna put back our bracket. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it, and by measuring it, we should be able to determine which one needs to be uh, either moved back or forward. As you can see, we're gonna have to move the one on our le on my left. So we're gonna remove the bracket. You're gonna have to hold steady with your other hand and turn the brass piece, just one turn. And we can put back our bracket just to uh, measure again. And we're gonna uh, do the same procedure over and over until we get our uh, desired uh, measurement. So it seems to be fairly uh, good for us and both sides we measure it and uh, we got the same distance so what we're gonna do now is put it back together again we're gonna put back our screws and we're gonna tighten it properly it'll be the same procedure that we did to take them off once we tighten this once quarter 20 is we're gonna put our 832s in place It'll be the same procedure. Same on the back. When you're tying your bolts, you want to make sure they turn nice and easily. It should not be any struggle just to turn the uh, knob. Once you're, uh, once we're good. We're gonna put back our bracket or stainless steel bracket on it. Once our bracket is in place, we're gonna put our other uh, bar back where it belongs you gotta make sure this set screw is facing forward as you can see the other side doesn't have that so we're gonna make sure it is forward and then we can put our this bracket this part of the bolt should be facing down just like this we're gonna make sure we put these pins back in place make sure we put back our snap rings uh, if they're in bad conditions you might want to replace them um, once we have our clips in place we can go ahead and put back our clips we can put them back in place Once again, you gotta make sure they lock in place. Once we're done with the process, we're gonna make sure they are doing what they're supposed to do. And by doing that, we're gonna make sure they are gonna be pretty close to our centerpiece. By turning our knob, we're gonna make sure they're gonna be pretty close. The small discrepancies within the center should be fine, but try to make it as close as possible. If not, you can repeat the process till you get the desired measurement. Now that we show you how to do the adjustment on the first set of wheels, if you need any other adjustments on the second, third, or fourth, you might follow the same procedure. 